In this video, we're gonna show you every single pet that is in the game up close and personal. We've got some new codes to share with you guys here today. We're gonna buy our way here into the rainforest. And we will also ask the question, what are these eggs? What is up guys and welcome back to Dieter Plays. We are here in Unboxing Simulator. We got some pretty cool stuff to look at. I've been playing a little bit with my free cam. And we've also got a new area, the Rainforest that came out yesterday. Actually, it was over the weekend. It got unlocked. This place, I've actually got enough to get into already. 30,000 septillion. I was already ready for it. I don't even have to spend any Robux because I already spent some Robux last time. And I opened a bunch of stuff and was grinding away there in the dungeon. But area purchase. Let's go check out what is over here in the Rainforest. I have not been here yet. I have not seen it. This is the first time. Oh, we've got a little thing up here that we can climb up to. I'm glad I can go a little bit faster than normal. And then from up here, we've got a miscellaneous chest. Okay. So we've got a really, really big chest. At, whoa. Okay. What is that? Okay. I can buy it again for 150 Robux. What is in here? We got all these swords and whoa. Okay. So I think these are all crafting items. So we can use those for crafting. Okay, so that gave us a bunch of miscellaneous items. Okay, we've got another path up here. Another path. Oh, and it says coming soon. Oh, dang, it's another coming soon. And a floating ducky over there. You guys see that floating ducky? What's going on with that floating ducky up in the air? What is happening? I think we got a floating ducky. Speaking of, we've got a lot of things floating around here. Around the map. Around the outside of the map. Oh, now I can climb up here. Oh, oh no, I was hoping I could climb up there and jump on the ducky. So that's all we've got. We've got this miscellaneous chest. We've got some of these other things. Let's see, uh, how quickly can I get these? Ooh, I'm still able to chop those down pretty fast. At least the small ones. How can I do on the big boxes? Not bad. Those go by fairly fast. Not bad at all. And these ones, you know, it's it's not like I'm gonna have to leave and walk away from the computer or anything in order to uh, like open these ones like I used to. But okay, so I'm dealing damage super fast to where it's allowing me to just claim these like crazy. Okay, for some reason, like these quests used to take a lot more, but I'm dealing the damage super fast, so I'm getting money super fast as well. I'm down to 11 septillion, but I still think I need a lot more to get the next level of weapon down in the weapons area. But speaking of areas, okay, we've got here the rainforest, all right? The rainforest area. Now, some people have fallen off the map, and I've seen screenshots of people fallen off the map before, I don't know, around different areas. I'm not sure exactly where they got these screenshots, but I had to take a look underneath the map and see what's going on down there, and there is something down there. All right, so what I do is I got my special little uh, mode I can go into, don't ask me how, but when I go down underneath, we've got underneath the map, it looks like we've got another chest. I think maybe this is the one that we're waiting to spawn. I think when it's waiting to spawn, this is where it sits. But look at this over here, very interesting. So we've got three eggs underneath here, but I, I mean these obviously, I think maybe they just kind of uh, throw trash for things in here, but we've got three eggs here. We've got mummy egg, exotic egg, and builder egg. They all go for 50,000 gems. So I, I have a theory here, guys. I think these were kind of like what they were gonna come down to. The mummy egg, I think the one over in the pyramid was going to maybe have some other eggs next to it, but maybe they just decided not to go for those. Or maybe these were three different looks and names for them that they were considering for that one, but they ended up ultimately going for the mummy egg. Anyways, these aren't eggs that you can like go up to and actually like purchase on, unless there's a secret way to get down here and stand on these, but I don't know of any way that anybody can actually climb down on these. And I doubt if you actually interacted with them that they would actually work. So that's what's hidden below the rainforest, guys. We've got some hidden eggs, but if you go look at where the pyramid is, we'll go take a look at that and we'll show you where the mummy egg actually is. All right, so we're just hitting a few floors down here and we're going in here and this is where the mummy egg was. So inside the mummy egg, I haven't even purchased any of these inside the mummy egg yet. It'd be nice to get an update where we can maybe open three at a time. Ooh, I claimed a legendary on the first one. Still haven't claimed any of these ones, but some people are wondering what these actually look like. Do you guys want to see what all of these pets look like? I want to see what these pets look like, and I can show you what all these pets look like up close and personal, including this one. This is kind of the, uh, we've seen this one. That one you can purchase, not too hard, but these other ones, these are very difficult to get. 
And I was always wondering, what does this look like? What is this thing? Is this a salt shaker? And what is this thing too? Let's go take a look and I will show you how we are able to take a look at these as well. So first I gotta find the spawn. We need to go back into the very beginning area. So you wanna head over to the spawn. So once you're here at the main spawn. Now, if you come over here to the right side, if you zoom out a whole lot and you look down there, look at that. That is all the pets. You can take a look at what all the pets are if you look down there. And if you get like further up here, you can climb the castle and try to get to other areas and look down there. But once again, I wanna show you up close and personal. Let's go down there and take a look ourselves in the super secret, super special way. So we can start from the beginning. Actually, we can go and look at what all these pets were. Some of these were super easy to get in the beginning. We only had kind of these simple ones like the cat and the dog and the deer. And uh, so the, the one that was hard to get was this witch. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe that's what it was. It was considered a witch, I don't know. These other ones, very difficult ones to get. But these two that were more rare was like a superhero dog with sunglasses. And then we've got a queen or a king over there as well. These other ones, the next area, super easy to get. Then we've got some cubes here. Those ones nah, don't look super cool, but these ones over here, look at these pets. These ones that you were able to get in this area. We've got these three different colors of an octopus. So I think this is probably one that was from it and it maybe it comes in three different colors or I'm not sure if all three of those are supposed to be completely different ones themselves. Or over here, this, uh, this area, we've got all these different ones with the wings. We've got this one with four wings. We've got this one, it's like a Cerberus head. It's got three heads, the two wings. And then these ones up here also seem to be the same one, but a retexture of that one down there. So I don't know, I haven't hatched any of these ones myself. I haven't had enough luck to hatch any of the really cool ones, but they seem like maybe just three colored variations of each other. Same with these little birthday cakes, another rare one to get, but it looks like there's three different variations. But those ones all kind of look the same there, all lined up. So we're into the next area, this food area. I was only able to hatch like up to the toaster, and I was able to do that pretty good. I saw people with burgers, and I was like, where'd they get, get those burgers? But I, they just had more luck than me, and we were able to hatch that one. Now this one that had the three things on it, I was like wondering what it was. It was ice cream. It was an ice cream cone. It was like this animal, it was an ice cream animal with two pieces of ice cream on its head, so that's funny. All right, uh, the next one, this next area, I don't remember getting any of these bad boys, but maybe these are the ones in the mummy egg. Uh, let's see, I don't think I hatched many of those. Yeah, we're kind of going down the line here pr pretty close, but no, I didn't really hatch many of those. But these two at the end, the spider, this one looks like it was a pretty sick pet to get. And then this one, it almost looks like a dark phoenix, a little bit from Bubblegum Simulator, don't you think? I think that's sort of what it looks like. Anyways, this one right here, we've got, I've ha I have hatched a bunch of all of these. I hatched like over 500 of this egg. I got a bunch of all these ones, but I never got these ones here at the end. I, I don't, I got some of those. I don't think I got, I didn't get this one, which looks like the frost, the, the frost king or the, the ice king. I don't know. Uh, this one right here, which looks like a big snowflake, looks pretty cool. And then this one, some triangular thing, which is like, 0.000017, like the chances of getting these ones are super rare. So it's kind of cool that I'm able to give you a closer look here. So hopefully they'll keep stashing them here so we can take a closer look in future videos here when we do this. And what is this? We have this egg. This, I, I haven't seen this egg. We got some other stuff down there we'll take a closer look at as well. But now the next egg right here, I think we started getting into the pyramid area. So I'm guessing this is the mummy. Uh, one, the one that I just hatched an egg for, so uh, I haven't gotten any of these. See that one with the big ears? That's the one that I just hatched with the big old ears right there. That was the legendary one. But then these ones, these godlies, that are super rare and super hard to get. I guess what you get here, it, I think that's a genie. I'm guessing that is, that's the genie from Aladdin. Or it's a top, like one of the tops that you spin uh, for uh, a, a dreidel, I guess. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a dreidel, I think it's a genie. And then this thing, which is basically a Valentium, or actually, yeah, it looks like a Valentium from Bubblegum Simulator. It's like the Hexarium. Cool little shape, but you know, we're getting a little bit close there. Uh, this one, oh, we've already seen this one. I've been opening this, and I've gotten all four of these, but I have not gotten these. And looking at the shape, yep, that's not, it wasn't a salt shaker at all. Uh, we've got some, one of these other pets that's just covered in bubbles. 
So it's not exactly what I expected it to be. And then a toilet. We got a pet toilet. <laughs> All right, these pets are getting pretty interesting over here. And then this is the one that you can purchase out of that egg. So these are all the pets that you can get in the game right now. We're still flying around a little bit and you can see some random stuff under the map. There's a star here. There's this thing, but I found this a little interesting. This little sign over here. Question mark? Question mark sign. Um, what is this? What is the question mark sign, guys? I, I really wonder what the question mark sign is, which is under here in the very bottom of the spot where you start out. Maybe, I think this used to be something that was here, but then they didn't, they got rid of the question mark. It's kind of like the coming soon, like that, that coming soon sign over the rainforest. I'm guessing that one is probably going to end up under the map at some point. And then we'll be looking at that. We'll be like, wait, why is this coming soon sign here? Okay, cool. So now we've got uh, eight hats, the, as many as we can equip in this area. Some of them very interesting looking. Not gonna lie, that little lion thing in the back is very, very weird. And I've got damage now at 12.56 trillion. Okay, cool. So that's making those boxes go pretty much right away. These ones, not much work for me at all. And these presents, yeah, they're going a lot faster. Enough time for me to go in and claim some quests as I'm doing that, which is giving me more money, so make sure you guys are claiming your quests. All right, so teleporting now here to the main coin chest and seeing how far I can get with that. Now that I've got all my new hats and everything and we're in a new area and how many multipliers I can get, each of these is gonna earn, oh, 210, six trillion. Okay, cool, so that makes you get even more rich and that actually makes uh, the, that number go up pretty fast, wow. That's quite a bit. Ooh, you know what I should have done before I did that? I should have entered the codes before. Oh, dang, don't do what I did, guys. Enter your code boosters and everything before you get all those coins. Anyways, uh, oof, that was my bad. That was my bad right there. Uh, how much does it cost to get another one? Um, okay, only 49 Robux, so maybe we'll do that here again. But you do have the boosters for some time, so let's get these codes here for you. All right, as far as working codes go, so we've got the... This one we've shown you before, but there's two of these. Uh, we're gonna show you the first two. We've shown you before, but these are still working. The ultimate super duper coin code. Okay, so the ultimate super duper coin code, just one word and you claim that one. It's already been redeemed for me. And same thing with this, the box squad. So the box squad, that's uh, the, the creators of the game, of course, and I've redeemed that one already. So some of these are new ones. So let's take a look at the new ones. Next one here is Clover Potion, but you have to use a zero, C-L and then zero, and then V-E-R, and then P-Z-O-T-I-O-N. So Clover Potion, uh, the last O is actually the regular O, but make sure that this one and this one is a zero and then claim that one. And you've got 20 minutes of the hat drop rate. So your hat drop rate is gonna be even better right there. So you got 20 minutes of that and you should be grinding away at those. And this next one in the codes is Bath Boost, but we're gonna use a B and then a four instead of an, uh, instead of an A and then TH and then B and then zero 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 and then ST. So they like to use numbers instead of letters. So this is a four and these are zeros right here for bath boost and then claim that one and then you've got another boost where you do plus 50% damage. So your damage is a lot more so that's a good time to grind. Next one over here, they got 92% on the rating for the game. So make sure you guys uh, do that. Hit that thumbs up in the game. So 92 and then percent and that is just the code right there. You do 92% and then boom, you got yourself a bunch of coins for free and that's gonna help that go up. Look at how many coins I've gotten just today during this video. It's been it's been a great way to get coins by using these. So next code right here that we wanna use is monkey, M-O-N-K-E-Y, monkey, and then claim that one and then boom, you've got plus 100% coins. So actually, uh, I would recommend uh, using the monkey code first. <laughs> use the monkey code first and then use those other codes and then open your uh, your uh, coin chest over here. Like the total opposite of how I did it basically is how you should do it. But let's go in there, let's just, uh, you know, I haven't spent any Robux in this video. Might as well go get a coin chest and see how much that goes over to me. Okay, let's see if I can run away from the coins. Run away, run away from the coins. Don't let them get me, don't let them get me guys. I'm gonna go to Toyland. Let's see if they'll find me. No, don't find me. Ah, oh, they're on to me. Guys, I've got a big ball of coins chasing after me, but let's see how much coins we get from it, actually. So, uh, whoa, okay, cool. That was pretty good. I went, uh, yeah, that jumped up pretty fast right there. So, 
Wow, it, it seems like I might be able to get some new weapons fairly soon here in the bathtub. Let's see how far I am from the next weapon, actually. Let's, let's see here. So this one's equipped. Next one, 73. So I'm getting fairly close to being able to purchase this next weapon here. But I want to save up for this crowbar. Okay, but we I don't even have one octillion yet at this point. And uh, trying to get a, an octillion, that costs quite a bit. Let me guess. Let me see how much it costs now at this point to get uh, like an octillion. Okay, yeah, you're still going to have to spend like quite a bit to start getting into the octillion level over there. But... Yeah, 2,000 Robux. I don't know about that. I'm going to grind. I'm going to work on this, guys. And if you guys are new here, we'd love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching, and we will talk to you guys later.